Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel. Peter! <laughs> boom, 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 <laughs> review stuff. And I'm so excited because I am doing a humongous shopping haul today where Peter shows you how he wasted his money on things he probably doesn't need but really wanted. Glamour shots. Anyway, um, before I get into this video, two things I wanna say is make sure you watch tomorrow's video. Um, it will be posted at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I have a very, very exciting video to do tomorrow. I'm so excited about it. So make sure that you are here tomorrow for that video. The second thing I wanna say is I just passed 35,000 subscribers on this channel and I am like so thankful to you guys. When I started this channel, I didn't think it would do anything, you know? And I was like, I really wanna do this. This is something that I think would be fun. I've always wanted to do reviews. My friends were like, why don't you just put this on your other channel? Why don't you just put it on your Peter Mon channel? And I was like, no, like I want a review channel, just like a, solely a review channel. You know, and to think that like for the last year and a half I've been posting, I didn't think I would post like almost every day, um, which I haven't posted every day. I posted almost every day. But you know, to think that like a year and a half later, almost two years, coming up to two years this fall, that I would have like tried so many different kinds of food. I just, I've had such a fun time. This channel, I have, I mean, I love all of my channels for different reasons, but this channel is like, I don't know, I just gonna have so much fun over here. So I wanna thank you guys so much for subscribing to this channel and watching. Um, it means so much to me, and I say this on my other channels, and I don't say it over here enough. You know, the fact that you guys allow me to be part of your life on a daily basis, just, it really, really brightens my day and I really appreciate it. You know, when we go out into the world each day, we decide how we're gonna spend our time. And the fact that you choose to give me 10 or 15 or sometimes 20 minutes of your day on this channel, I just really, really appreciate it. Unless you listen to me at two times speed, like the chipmunks. But anyway, so let's get into today's video. First, I need to do a thumbnail. Are you ready for the thumbnail? My back, you guys, is so out of sorts. It was like, it was a slow process getting into this chair today. So let me pull this up. You ready? <laughs> okay. So, oh my God. Yesterday I went to Bath and Body Works. I talked about it in my vlog. So I have a bunch of things from Bath and Body Works I want to show. Today, hello Tucker, how are you? Today um, I, ha I went to Sephora because there was one thing that I went in there to buy. I left there $178 poorer. And there are some things that I have ordered online. Some of the things I ordered online haven't shown up yet, so I'm gonna show you those. Well, maybe I'll show you those first, okay? So I am really, really into backpacks. Uh, there was a period of my life where I was really into messenger bags. My husband got me a Gucci messenger bag, which I still have. Um, I have a Prada messenger bag. I like really, like, you know, like high-end bags, but I'm really into kind of like the camping and hiking gear now. Like, I love that stuff. Um, and there's a couple brands that I like. Uh, and, you know, I, like I love Patagonia. Um, I love <laughs> North Face because I'm basic like that. But they really make really nice stuff. And um, I also like, what do, you, what do you want, buddy? He's like, I want, I want all kinds. Of, is this all for us? When I sit in this chair and I do like a review video, the dogs always think um, that it's for them. So anyway, he's, uh, Tucker's over here sniffing everything. But I... Um, I really like this brand, uh, Marmot. I think it's how you pronounce it. It's M-A-R-M-O-T. It's like a ski brand out of France. And there is another brand that I actually showed in my last haul, which is like, it's kind of like Columbia meets Patagonia. And it's like pl uh, plaid shirts and, you know, fleece vests and things like that. I love all of that. So let me show you some things I uh, ordered online. The first thing was, I love mini backpacks because I can take them to the pool. I can take, oh my Lord. He's like, what is in there? Um, I can take them to the pool. I can take them in my car with me. I put like, you know, all of my lip stuff in there because I use, it's a lip thing. I use, uh, you know, the lip balms and the lip glosses. I put my wallet. And so it's like kind of like a man purse. Um, so anyway, this is the bag that I bought. It is a crossover Patagonia bag. So it goes, I'm not going to show it to you right now, you guys, because it'll throw my back out again. But it goes actually, you wear it like to the, on the front or you wear it on your back. And then the strap is this way. And I love this bag so much. Now, I got it on sale. Here it says it was $59, but I actually got it 50% off. And I can't remember the website that I got it on. Is it on here? Next Adventure is the website. Um, it's called the Adam Sling A, uh, AL. And I love when there are little pockets. So, like, I can put my, like, phone and my wallet right there. So, I always know where my phone and wallet are. And then inside, you can see there's all these, like, slider pockets where I can put, like, a book paperback book because I'm always carrying a book with me <clears throat> no matter where I go 
right now, Joan Didion will go in there, slouching towards Bethlehem. Um, and then, like, I can put all, like, you know, my other stuff in there. So this is, like, a perfect bag for me. And the other thing is, like, I can pack this on a trip. Like, let's say if I'm going to the beach, which I won't be doing anytime soon. But I can pack this, right? And it's real light. And then this becomes my be beach bag for the day. And then I can put all of my beach stuff in here and I can take it. Um, I think it was yesterday that I showed like what I keep in the little North Face backpack. I actually got that on Amazon and it was like $45. So there's this one. Then I wanted to get a Marmont one, but they didn't have one that weren't like smaller. I wanted like a mini backpack. So I actually got this kid's backpack. Is this not so fantastic? And I ended up getting it. It says like it's $89 on here, but I got it for, it says it's $55, but I, it's called a kid's arbor. But I ended up getting it for $15. Um, and I don't know what the website is called. Let's see if it's on here. Um, no, it says it comes straight from Marmont, but it, that's not true. I got it from this website. I can't remember. Um, but isn't that cool? And then it has like this pop, this pocket in the front. So if you're looking for a backpack for your kids, this is literally like almost exactly like my Patagonia, uh, North Face is it? I think it's North Face, my North Face Isabella that I've had for like 20 years. Um, so it has all these pockets in the front. And then when you open this. It has like, I love this pocket right here. And then it has all this stuff. Like when I travel, I always put like my passport and like money, whatever in there. So that that way it's inside. And then like I, it's perfect for like putting my computer in here and everything else. Like this is like a perfect backpack. Okay, and then the last thing I have to tell you guys, I wanted this coat so bad last year. And so this is a year old, but I don't care. Like I am such a clearance shopper. And I am somebody that I don't care if something came out three or four years ago, I'm like, I want it, right? Well, this coat, which I'm gonna leave in the plastic because I'm not gonna wear it till this winter. Um, I saw it at Macy's and it was like $259. I literally got it. Um, okay, the list price they have it here is $175. I got this for like $80. And this is the coat. It's a Marmont coat. Marmont coat. Is that not so cute? I really want one of those Moncler, uh, is it Moncler? I think it's Moncler, Moncler ski coats, but they're like $1,200. <laughs> is this not so cute? I love it. So anyway, I got that and I got that like half price off. Okay. So let's go into the Sephora stuff. Here's my receipts. My receipts. Whitney. Whatever you want. Anything you want done, baby. <laughs> oh, my voice today. Okay. Let me have a little bit of my, I'm drinking the dirty chai now. I really, really like it with soy milk. All right. So, now I went into Sephora today for one thing. When I was in there the last time, I got a little sample, and I got a sample of the Sol de Janeiro, and they had two different kinds of lotion. They had the Bum Bum Butter, and then they had the uh, Coco Cabana Cream. And I really wanted the Coco Cabana Cream because I've been out in the sun a lot, and I've been using it on my face, and I love it, okay? And I have to tell you, in the last, literally 30 years, the only thing, I lotion every day, as soon as I get out of the shower, head to toe, with a vino lotion. I don't have any wrinkles or any, I mean, other than up here, but like on, down here, I don't have any wrinkles, any stretch marks, because I so believe in lotioning and drinking tons of water. And my weight has gone up and down, up and down, up and down for the last 30 years. So I swear by lotion. A vino lavender lotion is my favorite. And it's really the only lotion I would ever allow on my face because sometimes like skin, like facial lotions, like they'll break me out or they sting or they make my facial greasy. But I tried this on my face and I absolutely love it. Now I, I'll tell you, I didn't want to buy this because it was $45, you guys. But I went in there and I got the, um, what is it called? The uh, the Sol de Janeiro Coco Cabana, or Coco Cabana Cream. Um, if you go in there right now and it's your birthday like it was mine, <laughs> you could get a sample. So that's how I got it. They will sample things. But this is what the large size looks like. You can see. My back, you guys, is hurting so bad. Um, so it's a large container. She said it'll last forever. And I said, um, this I could go through in a week. <laughs> so for $45. But this is what it looks like. Oh my God, it literally smells like the beach. I was like, I have to have it. I went in there and Sephora is like, um, they're like limiting how many people can come in at a time and stuff like that. So I felt like it was a private shopper, I did. So anyway, I got that, $45. And then the next thing that I got was 
their shampoo and conditioner, okay? Because I had just gotten the Beach Bum shampoo and conditioner, and I love it because it smells like coconut, and it smells like suntan oil, and I love that smell in the summer. I was just talking to a friend of mine, and she's like, I don't love that smell, and I was like, well, I do. I know, Tucker, isn't it so exciting? But I was like, I do. I love that smell. So I went to go open it, and the woman that was helping me, she was like, no, you're not allowed to like open anything and smell it. So I have no idea what this is going to smell like. So this is the shampoo. Let's see what the shampoo is. Oh, it's got one of those things on it. This was $25 each. $25 for the shampoo and $25 for the conditioner. Let me take the thing off. I'm really excited about this. Now, if I hate the smell, I'm going to be... <laughs> He's so funny, isn't he? What is it, I wonder? It's shampoo for your hair. You want your hair shampooed like that? And then you guys would smell... I can't even get this open, you guys. You would smell so good if I used it, but I'm not going to use $25 shampoo on you. Although I'm sure that there's somebody out there that does. Why can't I get this open? I can't get it open! I keep on like pushing down on this thing and it won't open. Okay, hold on a second. Tucker, can you help me? <laughs> I can't. Look, he's trying to help! Aww. Okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. I mean, it smells so expensive, first of all. And it smells like absolute the beach. That is fantastic. And this is like a rubber container. Is that not so cool? I'm really excited about that. So this is the shampoo and the conditioner. I'm not going to try to open the other one because I'm sure that they smell exactly the same. So I won't make you guys wait through all that. Okay, the next thing I bought was this Brazilian Kiss, because you know that I love my lip balm. So it's the Brazilian Kiss from Sol de Janeiro. Um, I've seen like quite a few beauty influencers talk about this Sol de Janeiro stuff. This was $18, which is expensive, I think, for a lip balm. But <laughs> if Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson can charge that much, then I guess Sol de Janeiro can. I really like the bigger tube, actually. Can you see how it's like bigger? <laughs> Look at me, I'm a beauty influencer now. Okay, let's try this. That is so fantastic, you guys. Oh my God. It like feels real greasy at first, but then it like kind of like soaks in really quick. Oh, that is so fantastic. Oh my God, I love that. I mean, I guess you pay for what you get, right? Okay, and then the last thing that I got at uh, Sephora, uh, Sephora, uh, <laughs> um, I saw all this. They had like a whole like little setup like, on the side wall. Here you go, honey. He said, I want to see it, Dad. And it is the Drunk um, Elephant, the Littles Head to Toes condition, uh, uh, Collection. Now, I was going to buy the bigger ones, but they were literally like $30 each. So I was like, well, I'm going to try the sample of this. So what it is is, here you can see it. I'm going to turn down this. Mm, got my back. It's um, a sample kit of all of their new products. So they have... Um, Okay, this is all in French, so I can't read. Oh, here, on the front. <laughs> no. They have hair, have you seen face lately, body, um, hair. Oh, no, this is like a conversation they're having between each other, I guess, or something. Okay, so the things you get in here are the TLC Happy Scalp Scrub. You get the Cocomino Glossing Shampoo. You get the Cocomino Marillo Cream Conditioner. You get the Wild Marullo Tangle Spray. My husband will love that. You get the Camille Cream Body Cleanser. The Silly, uh, Silly Body Lotion. The Sweet Pity Deodorant Cream. And that's what you get in this little container here, which I really like this container too, actually, just <laughs> to travel with or something. So this is what it looks like. It says head to toe. And when you open it... I should have done a whole, like, just an opening of this, shouldn't I? You get this ginormous comb on here. Isn't that so cool? Is that the detangler? So, let me show you what these bottles look like because they're new, and I love how they look. Isn't that so cool? So, all the bottles look like that. I know you can't see because of the ring light, you guys. Here, I'll turn the ring light way down so you guys can see the true colors of all this stuff. Do you see? And so, that's what it looks like. You get all those bottles in there. This was $49, which I think is really expensive. But I wanted to try all these because I didn't want to, like, get one, you know, and be like, I don't really like it. So this is the body lotion. I mean, it's not too small for body lotion, so I guess it's, like, $49. One, two, three, four, five, six. What is that? <laughs> six times eight is 48. So it's, like, $8 a bottle. Yeah, that's real expensive. No, because there's another one down here. So seven. Uh, 
So I don't know, we'll see. I'm excited about that one. So those are the things that I got from Sephora. Okay, bye bye Sephora. Boo Radley's like, yeah, I went up there too. Um, okay, oh you guys, my back. My neck, my back, my, oh, family friendly. Okay, so I went to Bath and Body Works yesterday and I went in there for a hand sanitizer. <laughs> because my good shitty Sarah, Alex's best friend, she got me some Island Margarita hand sanitizer, of which they're completely out. I said to the girl, I go, yeah, I was not happy. I actually said I was bitter that you didn't have it. And she goes, oh yeah, that was long gone. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? She goes, we sold out of that real quick. So they have all of their fall scents. They have all their Halloween stuff. Okay, Tucker jumped down and then he knocked the ring light. <laughs> all right, so let's get back into this. I was getting my receipt. All right, so I spent way too much. Are you gonna jump down and knock the ring light over again? He said, no, dad. So I have um, my receipt here. Now, I got a lot of things 50% off. Um, oh, it says discount, 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 discount. So let me show you the things that I purchased. Okay, I got some hand sanitizers because I wanted some. Because I just wanted some. I guess I just got two and I got pumpkin cupcake and I got sweet cinnamon pumpkin. So their hand sanitizers are fantastic. I really, really like them. And then I wanted to get some of these wallflower things because we're out of these. So I got three of each because we have one over there, one in the kitchen, and then we have one upstairs. And so I wanted the whole house to smell similar. So I bought, hold on a second. I got this one, which is called Endless Weekend. It kind of smells like coffee and beach. It's like fantastic, you guys. And um, like I was like, ooh, I would love to get these candles. Well, they didn't have any of these candles left. And I was like, so you have the scents, but you don't have any of the candles. <laughs> There's always drama when I'm up in the Bath and Body Works. Okay. Then the next one that I got, and this is like gonna be my favorite fall scent, I think. It's the Cinnamon Spiced Vanilla, which I think is probably not a new, <laughs> it's not a new scent of theirs, but it's gonna be our scent in about five minutes. So anyway, here I bought three of those. And then I bought a bunch of candles. So let's see, I feel like I bought more hand sanitizers. Didn't I, Tucker? Did I buy more hand sanitizers than that? I guess I didn't. Yeah, there's only two hand sanitizers on here. They were $1.95. Um, so a lot of these candles were 50% off that I got. Well, almost every candle. Okay, those things, those wallflowers were all on sale. They were $2.70 off, they were $4.80. Um, and then each of my candles, well, one candle I bought, all my candles were 12, oh, they, no, some of them were $24 and some of them were $12.50. Uh, so this one, Midnight Blue Citrus is, I think, one of my favorite scents. Oh my God. It smells like, you know, you walk into a hotel lobby like late at night, like three o'clock in the morning, you've been walking around and hanging out with your friends and you're just ready to go upstairs and get romantical. Family friendly. It smells so good. <laughs> I love that one. Okay. Do you want to smell it? You can't smell it. You're a dog. Okay. The next one I got is cinnamon, cinnamon spiced vanilla because this is my new favorite scent. So there's something about it that smells different to me. It almost kind of smells like a chai, like my coffee. There's something that smells different to me about this than other cinnamon spice. <gasps> what is that, Tucker? It almost smells different to me than most um, like cinnamon spice candles. It smells so good, you guys. I mean, it literally smells like like a bakery first thing in the morning. Like it is so good. It smells like just like those cinnamon spice donuts. You know those cake donuts? That's what it smells like. It smells so good. Okay. Then the next one I got, this one was half off. It's called Coastal Sun. It was one of their summer um, scents. These are the kind of scents that my husband loves, okay? There's something fruity about it. I would say it smells kind of like not pineapple, I don't know what the smell is. Um, like kind of like a mix between like a, it sounds funny, but like a fruit punch and then kind of like, like maybe like, yeah, like a, like a summery beach alcoholic drink is kind of what it smells like, which is probably why I like to eat it because I've been sober for 25 years. Yeah, it smells really good. It kind of smells like fruity, like an orange juice meets kind of like a beach kind of drink. So love that. And then the next one that I bought 
was this one. I love these um, containers, first of all, that have like coral on them and stuff. Do you see that? This one was called, they had one that was called suntan, which I wanted to like so bad, but I hated the smell. Okay, this one is salted ocean air. And this smells like a spa. Like this literally smells like walking into like one of the like the, the finest spas in the world. It is so nice. It's just really light and airy. Um, it just smells really clean to me. My husband's gonna love this one. I'm gonna burn this one for him when he, will not burn it, but I use it on the candle warmers now for when he comes home. And then the last candle that I got was this one, which is peach, a beach sage and mint. <laughs> yeah, and this one is another spa smell. I mean, it smells so fantastic. This, the mint is really strong, but not like, it isn't overwhelming and, um, uh, you can smell the sage. It just smells really, really clean. I think I'm gonna put this one in my bathroom. I really like this one. He, what do you think, Tucker? He said, I think that's a lot of show and tell. That's a lot of show and tell, isn't it? So anyway, that's everything that I bought. That's my huge Sephora. What else did I buy? Bath and Body Works, an online haul. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about all that stuff in the comment section below. I love you guys. Thanks again for watching and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you made it to this point in the video, please give this video a thumbs up. It would really mean a lot to me. And like this video. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.